I'm so glad to see you today. I'm glad we got a chance to hang out a little bit yeah. because now I can I can work through. I've got a couple of ideas for Sunday school. Oh, okay, wait, so before, it, before you start, okay. If you see my mom, Pastor Jan, okay, I'm not here. Okay. She asked me to watch Gracie, and I told her I have to work. Gracie is like this little phantom dog. She gets out of her crate. She licks you and has bad breath, and I just, I just couldn't deal with it today. So I told her I had to work. So if you see her, I'm not here. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So what did you have in mind for Sunday school? All right. So Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So Sunday school. So last week we talked about the heart and all of that stuff and loving God with all your heart. Yeah, I hope the kids did really well on the quiz because I got everything right, so I hope they got everything right. You, you, you did really well on the quiz. So this week I found this word called integrity, and I thought, well, what does that mean? Like, how could we translate that for the kids? So I looked it up, and it says to follow a moral, strict moral and ethical principles. Well, okay, wait, we got to break Honesty. This. What? Those are big words. Okay. Break it down a little bit further. All right. So they're not going to get all the big words. Then I found um, uh, that it was like truth to be true. Okay. The state or character of being true. So to have integrity, you need to tell the truth, right? I thought that could be our lesson. Like, God, to, to, to have integrity, you need to be truthful and to tell the truth. Because we talked about last week, jealousy. And remember, I turned my heart around. It was yeah. all scribbly. And jealousy was one of those things that gets in the way. So I thought lying was... Hi, Melanie. Heather. You're um, here. Hi. Hey, what, so what happened? Like, I, I, thought, I thought you were going to watch Gracie and you said you couldn't because you weren't going to be here. Like, I've had Gracie... What happened? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really? I, like, you lied to me? Like, you... Oh, my gosh. I have had Gracie all day... Heather, all the stuff I do for you, I just asked you to watch Gracie for a little bit, and oh my goodness, I, wow, I'm really disappointed. Well, you know what? You're here, so here you go. There's Gracie. Thanks so much. She, Hi, that Gracie. was awkward. Hi, Gracie. Hi. That was really awkward. Yeah, you know, all that stuff about what you said about truth. Yeah, I really probably shouldn't have lied to my mom. If I didn't want to watch Gracie, I could have just told her, hey, you know, I really don't want to watch Gracie, but I had time. And she's such a cute little puppy. I, I just, and isn't know. it kind of, wow, we were talking about integrity and being truthful and, oof, ouch. Yeah. And you know, God, like, hell, oh, Heather. Mm. Yeah. Wow. You know, but God will forgive me for lying. Always. Yeah. All if, you have to do is ask. Yeah. Lord, can you forgive me for lying to my mom? Thank you. I, you know, I probably ought to go apologize to my mom, too. Uh, and take Gracie for a uh, walk. I think that you've asked God for forgiveness, but I think it's a good idea after you've made a mistake. Because, hey, I've done it, too. I've made mistakes, too. But I think you also need to go to the person that you hurt and probably tell them the truth. And boy, those lies. Woo, they are messy. That was awkward. Yeah. And she's such wow. a cute little dog. She really is cute. Yeah. So. And your breath doesn't smell that bad. Heather, you kind of like, maybe we could tell your story maybe. in our maybe. lesson. Would you be okay with telling your sure. story in our lesson? Sure. Yeah, we can tell the kids I, that. My life. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Uh, uh. I'm going to go okay. apologize with mom, and then maybe we can record next week's lesson okay. when I... Okay. Yeah. I, I got to go. All right. Good luck. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Wow. You are amazing. I was... We were practicing a lesson on integrity and how lying doesn't show that you love God with all your heart. It gets in the way. It's messy. And then you brought this right here. And it was a little awkward and uncomfortable, God, but I learned from it too. I need to think about, you know, any lies I may have told and ask for forgiveness and, and maybe go talk to those people too. So I think during the lesson, I'm going to ask the kids to say a prayer and ask God to forgive them for any lies that they've told. And then I think, God, I'm going to ask the kids to be courageous 
and to go ask for forgiveness from the people that they've hurt. Because, whoo, that messy heart, whoo, lying. We learned about jealousy. You taught us about jealousy, but boy, lying, that was, that's a tough one. Oh, so dear God, help me to remember that you know what's in my heart. You know if I'm jealous or anger or if I'm lying. But part of that scripture you taught us was that we also love others like we love ourselves. And, and we don't want to be lied to. We don't want to be hurt like that. So help us to be courageous and go not only to you for forgiveness, but to go and say to those that we've lied to, I shouldn't have lied. And I won't do it again. Because God, I know that's important. To not keep doing it over and over. So thank you, God, for that lesson. For giving Miss Heather and I a lesson for the kids. And letting them see that it even happens to grown-ups. Thank you, God, for everything you do for us. Thank you for my kids of Aldersgate. And for being there even when we mess up. We love you and thank you. Amen.